How does the referrals part of that, the bit that mentioned me, look after, sit within a marketing strategy for that person? Well, you know what? I'm really glad you asked. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a re- it, it's a, I think it's a new question. So I mentioned I've been in marketing for a while, and before that I was a journalist. I was editor of Marketing Week, and at the time, I think between 2009, 2012, editing Marketing Week, I didn't once write about referral. Never once. Never, I mean, barely wrote about word of mouth because it was not something you could build a strategy around. Now, with the application of... Uh, the, 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 the proper application of data and science and psychology, which, by the way, has fueled the evolution of every marketing channel from TV down. Yep. Right? Think about what TV was before we understood big data and we, before we understood how to apply science. Now, referral can absolutely sit at the heart of a marketing channel. Why is that? Because essentially it is, it's, it's, it's customer-fueled growth. It's making sure that... Um, your growth is real, is customer-led, customer-driven. You benefit from the first-party data in an era where retailers are really having a hard time with third-party data, um, blockers and incoming regulation, and really need to know more about how their consumers, their customers are feeling, buying, living, making decisions. Um, you're, you're generating a, a proper relationship with them, uh, Again, a, an overused word in marketing, authentic, but an authentic relationship that doesn't beg for attention or doesn't demand a moment of interruption like most advertising channels do. Um, it doesn't beg your attention like a digital banner does. It, it's A referral is a golden marketing moment in that it's the right person at the right time with the right product. Why? Because it's real people discussing them and sharing.